In this short video, we examine a possible solution to tutorial number three, question 2D, where we're asked to simplify the above expression expressed as a product of sums. That's what the uh, product symbol means there in front of the list of numbers. Now, the list of numbers simply refers to the relevant squares on the Carnot map. And we are going to put those onto the map as zeros, which you will see in a moment. There we go. Put them on as zeros. And then the only thing that could possibly be left would be the ones. Now, we could simplify the zeros as well, and that would give a valid product of some solution. But the question does not ask for that. And uh, so we're going to explore simplifying the ones. And in the process, we're going to see that we can get a number of possible solutions which manifest equal simplicity. So first, we fill in all the ones. If it isn't a zero, it has to be a one. Okay, next, as we look at it, we see that we have uh, uh, two large groups of four ones there staring us in the face, and we are going to circle those first. Okay? So now we see that with those circled, the only thing that remains is two little uh, ones there that are not included in any group, and we see that we can either circle them with the one on the left or with the one above or in the case of the lower uh, left hand, the one below. So let's circle them now with two different colors so that we can see how it goes. First, we will circle those, and then we will circle those. So now everything is circled, and the meaning, the meaning of the red and green will become apparent in a minute because we have, in fact, four possible solutions. We can use the two reds, we can use the two greens, or we can choose a red and a green. So we're just going to write that there on the board so that everybody will be happy. And uh, you will realize that students will make individual choices. And whichever choice they decide to make, the answer will still be perfectly valid as long as you have reached the most simple possible form of the answer. Okay, so now here are the four solutions for you. First, we write, uh, we write down the min terms that are common to all solutions, which of course would be the four groups that we identified at first. Now we explore the situation where we have a red with a red or a green, and a green with a red or a green. So now we have all the possible min terms for any of the four solutions, and we want you as a student to realize that you only have to do one, but it doesn't matter which of these four answers you give, it's equally correct. The only thing you have to do to complete your solution is to uh, tie the terms together with the or symbol, which we will do. And presto, you're done. Thank you for watching the Stephen Mendes Educational Channel, and we'll see you soon again.